Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today, I'm going to teach you how to manage your downloaded credit card transactions in QuickBooks Online. This tutorial is one of Fit Small Business's 46 free QuickBooks Online tutorials. You can find these tutorials by Googling Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online tutorials. So one of our prior tutorials in part one setting up your QuickBooks dealt with how to import your credit card transactions. So now we've imported them and now we're going to learn how to manage those downloaded transactions. So let's go to our QuickBooks dashboard and to view those imported transactions we're going to go to banking and banking again. Today we're going to deal with our credit card transactions coming over from the American Express account. So let's make sure the American Express account is highlighted and we can see for the 13th that we have four transactions transferring over from our bank. Okay, so um, we have three tabs here. We have four review. These are the transactions we have yet to review. Once we categorize the transaction, it'll move into the categorized. And if we choose to exclude it, it will move to the excluded tab. Okay, so those are our choices for each transaction. So each transaction can either be categorized, which essentially means assigning it to, a, uh, to an expense account and accepting it, or it can be excluded. Um, excluding a transaction coming over from your credit card would be very rare. So even if it's a personal expense, something like that, you still need to do something to account for because it did go through that account and that account is in your business book. So it would be very rare to exclude a transaction. It would almost have to be somehow something got duplicated. Okay, so here are four transactions. Uh, let's first handle the transactions in which QuickBooks has already found a match for us. Uh, so all we have to do is confirm that yes, in fact, that is the same expense. So here on 1013, we made a charge to gambles of $5.73. So this is what's coming through from the bank. I'm going to click on it and open it up. And it found this matching record. It found that I recorded a, a credit card expense. I recorded an expense charged to the American Express on 10-11, so that was two days prior to the charge clearing the bank. Makes sense for $5.73 to the vendor gambles. Well, that certainly does appear to be the same charge, right? So this was one I had manually entered. Now it's transferring over from my bank, and so I'm going to tell it to match these transactions. All right, if I accidentally, if I added it as a new transaction, it would be in the books twice. And so now we can see that that one transaction is over here in our categorized. And we can undo it, which would then send it back to the review tab. Okay, the next matched transaction is from Amazon. So let's look. This is what, again, this is what's transferred over from the bank. Let's look and see what it's matching against. Now here it's a little bit different. In the prior one, it matched it against an actual credit card expense I actually entered in the books. Here, it's matching it against an open bill. So on September 13th, we received a bill from Amazon for $101.10. Well, this sees that this charge is for $101.10, and it thinks that we probably paid this open bill. So we had entered this as an unpaid bill. Okay, and yes, that is in fact correct. So we used the credit card to pay for this unpaid bill. We didn't ever record the credit card charge. All we recorded was the open bill. QuickBooks recognized that and says, is this credit card charge paying this unpaid bill? And we're going to say yes. Good. So the point there, QuickBooks doesn't just match it against credit card expenses. They'll also search your unpaid bills to see if it looks like any of the credit card charges are for paying unpaid bills. Okay, so those are the two that QuickBooks matched for us. So now let's look at these next two. So here we have Gambles, $69.55. Let's open it up. Okay, let's look and see. So this information was automatically extracted from the bank, so it's assigning it to Gambles, uh, the repairs and maintenance category. Very good, class admin. So this is based on other entries I've made to Gambles in the past. Okay, it's making the memo as sling. 
Well, that's weird. Okay, so in setting up these tutorials, sometimes I have to kind of manipulate some of the bank data, and so we don't want we don't want that in there. Okay, so this all looks fine. If I wanted to, I could certainly change any of this. If it didn't recognize Gambles as a vendor, then I may have to fill all of this out by hand. But here it actually did a very good job of creating the transaction. Okay, and finally we just have one more charge to Gambles for $18.59. Okay, so this time, okay, again, it looks like everything is, is proper. It's gambles, repairs, and maintenance, administrative. All of that looks good. Let's see if we can create a rule so that every time something comes through from gambles, it's automatically charged to repairs and maintenance. So instead of doing just this one transaction, let's create a rule. Okay, first I want to see again. Okay, so let's create a rule. Let's call this rule, I'm just going to call this rules gambles. Okay, so if we ever make an American Express charge that includes the um, bank text as gambles okay then we want to assign it as an expense repairs and maintenance payee gambles administrative okay now we don't want this exact memo on every transaction okay automatically confirm transaction this rule applies to I don't like to do the automatic confirmation. I want to actually see it make the recommendation and then I want to add it manually. So let's hit save. Okay, and now we can see that under a rule, it's assigning this transaction to our repairs and maintenance. That looks good. We can add it. And there we go. So we're all done with the four transactions that transferred over from our American Express account. If we want to view our rules and make any changes to our rules, we can come up here into the rules tab. And here you can see I have two rules. So when I accepted my uh, checking account transactions in an earlier tutorial, uh, we set up a rule for Verizon Wireless. Now in the credit card um, transfer, we're setting up a rule for gambles. Okay, excellent. So that is how you manage your imported credit card transactions in QuickBooks Online. I hope this was helpful. For other helpful free tutorials, please Google Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online Tutorials. Thank you.